Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to the Tuscany region to see the Tower of Pisa. We started off with a quick coffee at the Chef Express rest stop before going to the mall at Tuscany for some outlet luxury shopping. The mall is home to many brands of different tiers including Gucci, Mont Blanc and Coach. However, the selection here is quite limited so we headed for lunch before travelling to Pisa. Along the way, we came across many vineyards and olive farms. Before we know it, we are at the city of Pisa. After a short walk through the residential area, we started seeing the medieval city walls. Through the gates, we were first greeted by the baptistry dedicated to St. John. This is the largest baptistry in Italy with a circumference of 107 meters. Taking into account the statue of St. John atop the dome, it is even taller than the Leaning Tower. Next to the baptistry is the Pisa Cathedral or the Duomo dedicated to Santa Maria Assunta. The building, as have several in Pisa, has tilted slightly since its construction, though not nearly to the extent of the nearby tower. Commonly known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the tower took 177 years to build. Five years into its construction, the weak soil foundation led the tower to sink. Then when construction resumed, the upper floors were built with one side taller than the other to adjust the lean to one degree. Then we bought some macarons at McDonald's to use the toilet before leaving for Florence. We first checked into our hotel and then headed out for dinner. And our dinner place is directly beside the Basilica di Santa Croce. Florence is also the birthplace of Dante who wrote the Divine Comedy. And this is one of the many landmarks in Florence where you see traces of him. Finally, it's our sitting time for dinner where we had pizza, Florentine steak and tiramisu. And today we are exploring Florence. I know what you've been through, been through. I know what you like, I know what you like. I know you about it, about it. When we turn Walking along the Arno River, we saw the Florence National Central Library and the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, the only bridge spared during World War II. Beside the bridge is the Uffizi Gallery. Here you can see pillars of statues of famous Tuscans such as Dante and Michelangelo. At the end of the gallery is Palazzo Vecchio, the town hall of Florence. On the left of the entrance, you have Michelangelo's David and on the right, Baccio's Hercules and Carcass. Within the Piazza della Signoria, you will also see an open-air sculpture gallery. Here, you also have the Fountain of Neptune and the statue of Cosimo, the second duke of Florence from 1537 to 1569. Then the iconic cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore and the Giotto's Campanile beside it. The title translated as Lady of the Flower alludes to the name of the city Florencia or City of Flowers and to its emblem, the Florentine Lily. And on the opposite side is the Florence Baptistry of St. John famous for its bronze door carved with stories from the Old Testament. 
know my photo still hangs on your door then we had and coffee at Bottegon before heading to really what's friends no forgetting anymore I know what you been through been through I know what you like subscribe and stay like. tuned to our next vlog to see what we did in Venice